What's up guys? Welcome to another uh, Dark Souls 1 lore through. Today we're going to be taking on the New Londo Ruins. Um, so yeah, I uh, got a phone call earlier uh, in the middle of recording, so I went through the first part of this area already. Um, so I uh, just cut off the stream and now I'm recording a couple hours later. So. I'll kind of go back through and uh, talk about what I talked about. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is the new Londo Ruins. Um, it was flooded, we learned, um, to contain the dark. Um, although, I don't know if we fully learned about that stuff yet, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ghosts here, and we, we'll probably see the evidence of where those ghosts came from later. Um, but, yeah, anyway... Um, yeah, there's these ghosts, you have to use the transient curse in order to hit them, or you could use a divine weapon, or you could use the, the jagged ghost blade, or the ghost blade, or you could, uh, use Artorius' sword, or you could be cursed yourself, I mean, they do give you lots of options to fight these guys. Um, that item over there is uh, one that we're gonna want. Now this is a special ghost with a baby and they scream and they're the ones that have the chance to drop the, the rare weapons. So I'll probably be trying to take those guys out. Uh, and then, yeah, then we, uh, kick down this shortcut. And, uh, so we'll take that next time. Um, yeah, so you can see Ingward up here on this, the roof of this building here. Um, he's wearing the same clothes I am. He is another sealer. Oops, you know, you can't, you can't wait around too long here. <laughs> You're just gonna get swarmed. Which is too bad. They all come up from below. I try to kite them out as best I can, but I don't know how effective it is. Um, like, I don't know, I actually don't know if they are infinitely spawning, for example, from this area. But, uh, there's the, uh, ghost here. I'm gonna have to check. Uh, I'm gonna have to check if that was dropped. Uh, if there was anything drop, I doubt there was. Yeah, once you get onto the roof here, though, um, yeah, they go sleep you alone, which is good because um, I don't like them. So up there is Firelink Shrine. And the uh, door right here. We've seen this door from the other side. Um, yeah, so I'm starting to think that might be true. So this is the door in the Valley of the Drakes. The huge, huge door with all those drakes. And I've got the red tearstone ring up there. And then there was this little thing that I was like, 
I don't know what this is. I think it might be holding up the ladder. But I mean, there's a similar one right next to it, but with the thing that you turn on it. So I imagine it used to be a thing that used to open and close the doors, but that they removed it on the outside for some reason. Anyway, oh, are these guys going to come up here? I guess they have like a barrier here. Um, but yeah, and then so once we drain stuff, I mean, we'll be able to walk around all the way down there. And this area right here is really important. But we'll get there in a second. Let's talk with Ingward here and uh, see what he has to say. Recognize me? Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. You have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. Cool. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. Yeah, so Ingward's been here for a while. Um, I wonder, what is that blade? Obviously, it's the Tin Banishment Callist, and there's another blade. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, Ingward thinks that Artorius crossed the Abyss, and he's heard that legend, but he's saying that if we want to know how to traverse the Abyss, which is here now in New Londo, uh, which is interesting because, I mean, it used to be in Ulusil, but it has now spread and been contained here in New Londo. But he says in order to get to the Abyss, to get to the Four Kings, we're going to need to talk to Artorias. Well, we've done all the talking we need to do with that because we have now gotten the, uh, the Covenant that will allow us to traverse the Abyss. Hello there. What is it? The key to the seal is now in your hand. I will help you in any way possible. Alright, so he can break curses, um, which is... makes sense, right? Because he's um, in a place where everyone's cursed, so probably knows a bit about being cursed and breaking curses, stuff like that. Uh, let's see if he gives the same more lore. New Londo was sacrificed to contain the Dark Rings. Mark my words, the dark wraiths are the enemies of man and any living thing that has a soul. They were never meant to roam again. <laughs> but he gives us the key to the seal to let them roam again. I don't know exactly why. New Londo was sacrificed. Mark my words, they were... Alright, let's see what you got. So we have the transient curse, we read those, and then he has resist cursed... Uh, sorcery. Sorcery of the Red Robe Remediation Ingward, Guardian of the Seal of New Londo. Sacrifice humanity to undo curse. Abhorrent curses eat away at the core of one's very existence, and cleansing oneself of curses is no easy task indeed. So yeah, we saw Remedy uh, as a sorcery from um, th the female uh, seal keeper um, and apparently Ingward also has a miracle resist I wonder the uh, seal keeper that we found in with uh, that was fighting alongside La Trek I wonder if they had a magic that they had invented as well all right I think that's it all right bye Alright, let's see if we can get down to the seal without getting stabbed to death by these, uh, 
Stupid ghosts. Um, there's not a ton of items in this area in terms of like, you know, weapons and whatnot. Um, there's also a gajillion ghosts. Um, there's like some crossbow stuff up here, so I'm going to try to get that. And there's a ring up here, although I don't think, oh god, it's so ominous. There's a ring of rare sacrifice on this building. It's the same one we have uh, found, so I'm not going to grab that. <clears throat> just because at this point I'm just trying to get through here. So yeah, this is the air that yeah you can see right there. It's the same kind of contraption underneath it. Um, they just removed the actual rotation device from the other side. Now that's a lot of water displacement. I'm sorry. I mean, first of all, I always thought that this should mean that all of the drakes get removed. <laughs> but they're just standing there. I mean, it makes sense, you, you want to farm them and all that stuff, but I mean, they, uh, yeah, you'd think that they would, uh, get this to come up here. You know, they would be affected by the amount of water that just left the new Londo, but there is a, uh, composite bow up here. Thought it was a sniper thing or whatever. Let's check this out. Um, I don't know that it's anything exciting, but composite bow emphasizing power. Yep. Composite bow is like one of the best bows for sure. When I do any type of bow builds, I certainly do that. Alright, let's go meet the Dark Wraiths in the bottom of New Londo. There's one. He already sees me. Hopefully the drakes don't find me too quickly. I don't think I can do it in one hit. Oh, look at that. Well, that's convenient. Um, all right. What us? So yeah, um, I should have mentioned. Yeah, you so you can see that uh, the flooding of New Londo was done uh, like haphazardly. Um, everyone died in the. Uh, like these, I mean, these are the, the citizens of New Londo, and all those ghosts are haunting the area because they were, their life was taken too quickly. Let's see, a dark gray through there. Will he come? Come on, man. Come on, my dude. But we'll put one backstab be enough. No. We don't need. We don't need to kill him with one uh, backstab. That would be a little bit overpowered. But we, we should be there pretty soon. <sighs> Now we have to, let me try to kite these guys over. We have this terrible. Uh, 
There's this terrible sludge guy over here. Um, he doesn't respawn, uh, which is great. Um, but uh, he uh, he can be a little bit annoying. Let's see. Oh, he bleeds. I'm not sure why he bleeds. He's uh. I don't know if he's a living thing. Oh, I hate this. Yeah. There's that one hit that they do that always, ch I mean, changed me. <laughs> I never have uh, poise or whatever but it always chains me and um, so if I miss that that parry and that slow one I always die <laughs> it kind of you know I should learn it a lot better because it it's like a guaranteed kill pretty much for me um, every you know 10 attacks uh, I mean I don't know about that but you know it's just it's really something I shouldn't uh, be doing. Um, but yeah, these are the Dark Wraiths, um, which, I mean, the Dark Wraiths are an enemy. Yeah, you can see that it's all not flooded any longer. If we, we, of course, can't go through any of these places. <laughs> we, can only, we only have a limited area here. Um, but these are the Dark Wraiths, like, as an enemy, but they're also a Covenant. Uh, obviously, the Covenant that I'm trying to get to before... Um, before placing the Lord Vessel with Koth. Um, but... Um, But they're also this enemy, so, um, yeah, they kind of, they kind of suck, um, and yet, you know, if you can parry them, you're doing well. Um, it's interesting, that guy was facing the other way before. Oh my, I guess I had one queued up. Uh, I had an attack queued up, I was trying to dodge. Um, so yeah, they have tw uh, uh, tw Titanite chunks, which is great. Um, they are, just, yeah. Uh, and they also can drop Titanite slabs, so unlike some of the future games, there is unlimited amounts of upgrade material, so... <laughs> that was the one I didn't want. However, it's very unlikely that we're going to get any slabs. But this is the area that we were in earlier, but we are up two floors right up there. And so... We're going to, uh, was that this guy? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they have this dark hand. There it is. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> um. You know, my strategy really works until it doesn't, you know? Hopefully we can at least get one. 
one run through here without um, that attack. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I should just be more diligent. If they're coming up to do an attack, I should just wait for one second. It's just the, the one attack that they do that it's easy to parry or whatever is kind of quick, so I don't really have a lot of time to mess around with it or whatnot. But let's try it out. There we go. Always circle around them. Getting smarter. It's only taken me however many hours in this game and however many playthroughs. But I'm finally learning to, you know, play the game correctly. This is the area that I come around to, uh, to farm, basically, so. Oh my god. I didn't amass so many souls and uh, whatever I've just I've been losing too many souls this playthrough especially for like how hundred leveled I am well I do have high decks you know but I, I don't have anything else and uh, so that can kind of come back and bite me when I'm losing all the souls and then we just do this over and over again and it's probably going to be that way fighting the new ki the four kings because they can be quite tough uh, although what I'm going to try to do here is you know I'm trying to get to this ember so that we can you know actually uh, come here with a... Does this guy follow you? It doesn't matter, I mean, what, what, I want to get these. I want to get the, like, two souls that I got. come too close to this guy. Okay. This guy not notice me? I guess I should just like stay clear until they do their running attack, because that's the easiest one. Alright, just the one more. Alright. Okay, there's the dark hand where he tries to take your humanity and he can drop th they can drop the dark hand although I don't know if we'll get one on this playthrough but we shall see so yeah this is the short shortcut I guess to the beginning uh, but I, I just like to jump down. I don't ever use that shortcut. All right. So yeah, there it's up there that chest. And then we're gonna go back. I was planning on having like thirty thousand souls to uh, work with here, but. Not any longer. Um, I think there's something over here. Nope. Um, there is a section up here uh, 
where they mix dark wraiths with the ghosts and it's kind of annoying because you're like you have to um yeah and there's that ghost that screams you have to like if you want to fight them as well you have to get the transient curse going even though mostly you're mostly fighting dark wraiths so yeah very large ember um yeah I actually got a bunch of items and such while I was farming, uh, and I was thinking that we could probably uh, read those all together. So um, let me just jump home here, and we're gonna run over to uh, we're gonna run over to Andre and see if we can. Uh, get everything leveled up. I hope I have enough chunks. Um, if not, we'll just do it as much as we can, and then we'll read through all the items that I got while farming. I farmed in an Orlando, and I got at least one weapon that we haven't read before, so... Um, here just because I always forget to rest when I warp and then I die and then something weird happens and what's well, not what I want. I have nine chunks, I believe, and a slab. So I believe that will uh, that will actually do it here. Um, so I don't think. Do we read this? Yep. Uh, Did we read this? Yeah, we did read this. Okay, very large ember. Ember required for weapon ascension. Huge ember of highest quality handled by blacksmiths of Astora. Well, we know who that is. Um, and then, yeah, we had the, uh, I guess the, the key we just got, the uh, key to the seal. Key to the floodgates of New Londo, which seal away the four kings who fell to dark. The sealers flooded New Londo to banish the Dark Wraiths and the Four Kings. The agonizing decision was made with the realization that countless lives and the robust culture of the city would be lost. The victims now roam the ruins as ghosts. That's a really interesting description. Typically, they, uh, they don't even tell you that. You're supposed to just grab information like that from context clues, but... Um... Yeah, I think we didn't have anything new here. Um, oh yeah, I got a Balder side sword, uh, which I don't think says anything crazy. The knights of the ancient kingdom of Balder wielded these rock-solid long swords, which are excellent for thrust attacks. Balder was the home of Knight King Rendell, but the kingdom was reduced to ruins after a widespread outbreak of the undead. We knew that. Uh, we read that. Um... I really should just throw some of this stuff into uh, my bottomless box. Yeah, we got the Silver Knight Spear. The Silver Knights of Anor Londo guard the city using this beautifully slender weapon. The spear can be wielded by both hands and focus thrusts. That uses one body weight or swing in a large sweeping motion. Um, I think that's probably it. <laughs> I got a bunch of giant's halberds. Um, yeah, we got this. Yeah, so I think we're good here. Um, I don't believe we had, I mean, like, we didn't get any new armor. I got a bunch of balder armor, but we probably we already had access to that and read it, and we definitely didn't get new ring so not a ton of stuff but all right so now let's see what he says with this new ember well i'll be that's a brilliant ember you've got there for all my years in the trade that might be the finest how's about you leave that ember with me i'm just an old smith 
I'd give my left arm for a gem like that. Yeah, of course. Anything for you, Andre. Well, thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done. You shall see. Let's <laughs> see if he has anything new to say. Oh, yeah. Nope. Okay, well, let us go to Uchikitana 11. And then we can now go up to 15. Tight night slab. Chukunk. All right. Don't get yourself killed. And that should do it. Now we might have a chance against the four kings. All right. Because I have 40 decks and 15 weapon. I mean, that's what I would probably have, even if I was way more leveled up. I guess I might have more damage resistance, but uh, that won't be the biggest problem. Um, I mean, it probably will be a problem. Um, so let's see. I rested here. I want to repair equipment just in case. Oh, oh, right. I was like, why? That's just because my, uh, I, I, uh, leveled it up. And so it repairs the blade. Okay. Well, on to the, the four kings. Let's, uh, let us go here and we'll do the covenant and maybe we should do the sunlight gold pine resin try that out for the four kings although i do have the great magic weapon they do you know they use magic but they also don't have a ton of magic defense i've beaten them as a sorcerer before uh quite handily actually so um the great magic weapon should work, so maybe I could use both, I don't know. Um, so yeah. wonder what it was like for the uh, sealers to uh, decide to uh, to basically uh, flood this place and just be like, let's get rid of all the culture, all of the people, all the things, just that's it. They're gone. Um, I mean, I guess I'm, <laughs> I'm cosplaying as one now. This seems like a rash decision. Yeah, about 800 damage now. <laughs> it's pretty good. That was, <laughs> was a very late parry. I'm surprised that I uh, got it in. And we get a little chunk here. All the chunks seem to reside in Ulando. Don't know if there's a reason for that. Um, and this is kind of lore specific. Um, cracked red eye orbs. Those are the items of the dark wraiths. Um, I don't think there's anything down there. That's how you, once you join the, the covenant here, that's how you invade. And, uh, so I guess someone around here, one of the dark wraiths themselves, would have those. Oh!
always stutters right there and there. Because it's loading in New Londo. Oops. <laughs> Jumped down the hollow. It's interesting that there's these blue. Ugh, I'm colorblind. I don't know. They're probably like green or something. And I'm just like, whatever. But what I think looks like different like colored lights uh, I guess different colored lights different colored um, flames down here now what did that did I walk uh, over here enough for it to see me I guess maybe it heard me it's crazy I'm just gonna grab my souls cuz I mean why not is he coming out? Oh, and then here's the... Oh, gosh. Drop frames. Oh, God. Just dropping frames like crazy now. I think a backstab will kill him now, yeah. Um, I guess I should... Oh. That was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. I was like, I guess we're gonna do this. Yeah, it's gonna kill these things faster. I mean, it's almost dead. This is the easiest way to kill him when he's like hovering on that wall or whatever, or the stairway, so that he's not, uh, when he shoots his spike out at you or whatever, it's not gonna hit ya. Did I put the ring on? Okay. Uh, I pr I should have gone human. I would have liked to have gone human for this battle. Uh, you know, I'll probably die. <laughs> That's my only excuse. Um, so I will maybe be able to come back and summon. It's interesting. There's a. I didn't really notice before. Oh, I guess they're the same statue. It's just a woman with a child. I thought there was a like a, a male person and a female person. So yeah, this is kind of a unique boss fight in that you kind of jump in here. I don't can you leave? No. Uh, there's one boss fight you can leave in this game. Which is strange. But yeah, um, so apparently this is where the abyss resides. I don't exactly know like what this building was. Was it something before? Were they trying to build down to the abyss? You know, because it kind of breaks off here at a certain point. And these basically make it so that you can't do any shortcuts. Well, not, not definitely, but every time you try to drop down, you're always gonna hit one of those and die. Um, but yeah. I guess it, it it might not break off. Maybe it just literally like go like this is the abyss right here, and it just a a pool of nothing. Oops. So I'm gonna keep out an eye for the first there. Oh God! Straight away. Go. Yeah, we're doing decent damage. Yeah, that was uh that was stupid quick. Usually I'll get another another one spawning. 
before I've killed the one. Oops! <laughs> I really tried to roll away from that. Ugh. Too late. Stamina. Stamina. Yeah, this is crazy. Might as well buff. Just to make this last one embarrassing for them. Come here, baby. Oops. <laughs> it rolled right into his attack. Oops. <laughs> so, yeah, the four kings ruled over New Londo. I don't know why they need for but Gwen gave them a Lord Soul which bequeathed Lord Soul Shard. He broke up his his soul and gave it to a couple of different uh, things. I don't want to even say people. Um and so yeah but What's unique about this, uh, let's read this before I talk about, oh, you actually, oh, is it a key item or something? Yeah. Soul of the Four Kings Who Fell to Dark. Soul of one of the four kings who fell to dark. A fragment of a lord's soul discovered at the a dawn of the Age of Fire. Lord Gwyn recognized the foresight of these four great leaders of New Londo and granted them their ranks and the fragments of a great soul. Although this is not a full lord soul, it can still satiate the lord vessel. So this is kind of cool, though. We <laughs> This is the soul that Gwyn found, a, a fragment of it, from the Age of Fire. I mean, we'll, we'll obviously get all the souls, and they all are from the from the fire or whatever, but um, from the first fire, but it's just, you know, we've been hearing so much about it. So yeah, basically what I've done here, if uh, you haven't done this before, is that um, I didn't talk to Koth after I got the Lord Vessel. I didn't place the Lord Vessel, and I didn't agree to go with what... Koth, or <laughs> Fram, to keep saying Koth. This is Koth. They look identical. Um, but, um, yeah, Fram wants me to succeed Lord Gwyn. I, you know, don't believe in all that. You know that. And Koth has a different perspective and lays out a great amount of lore. Um, and so if you don't place the Lord Vessel and then you um, beat the Four Kings, which is the only... Um, boss you can beat before placing the Lord Vessel. The other three, you need to remove the orange glow that we looked at in uh, the Duke's Archives. So this is the only way to kind of get this uh, storyline and it's like, I guess I've always said Ash Lake is the most hidden and this is the most hidden, but this probably is the most hidden aspect of this game. You have to basically play the game multiple times and have I mean, you either, either need to hear about it or you need to play it multiple times and, you know, p decide to beat the four kings before you talk to Goth. So, let's see what uh, Koth has to say. Greetings, undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent, Darkstalker Koth. I can guide thee and illuminate the truth. The truth... I shall share 
Without sentiment. I like the truth. After the advent of fire, the ancient lords found the three souls. But your progenitor found a fourth, unique soul. The dark soul. Your ancestor claimed the dark soul and waited for fire to subside. And soon the flames did fade and only dark remained. Thus began the age of men, the age of dark. However, Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his age of fire and in dire fear of humans, and the Dark Lord who would one day be born amongst them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature by sacrificing himself to link the fire and commanding his children to shepherd the humans. Gwyn has blurred your past to prevent the birth of the Dark Lord. I am the primordial serpent. I seek to right the wrongs of the past, to discover our true lord. But the other serpent, Frampt, lost his sense and befriended Lord Gwyn. Undead warrior, we stand at a crossroads. Only I know the truth about your fate. You must destroy the fading Lord Gwyn who has coddled fire and resisted nature and become the fourth lord so that you may usher in an age of dark. Mm, okay, there's so much. I mean, he spoke about stuff very un... <laughs> un unambiguously so I think what he says speaks for himself but um, what I do want to point out is they talked about the three that found the souls that would be Gwyn, Isolith, and Nito and that there was a fourth which he calls our progenitor in the cutscene they say the furtive pygmy so easily forgotten now the furtive pygmy uh, did not decide to go on and become a god um, and um, I don't know if it's this speech or other speeches, you know, I always talk ahead of myself, but basically the, the said that the, the furtive pygmy dispersed the dark soul and cut them up into many little souls, which we now have as humanity. So each humanity is a small shard of the original dark soul. Um... So that's a thing. <laughs> that's awesome. The other thing is that Gwyn is trying to deceive everyone around him. I mean, we talk to everyone, and everyone is just like, yeah, succeed, Gwyn, a extend the Age of Fire. But we learn that there's a natural cycle, that there's an Age of Fire, there's an Age of Dark, then maybe an Age of Arch Trees again, etc., etc. Um, you know, that there is this cycle that goes on and that that Gwyn extended it and he caused it to be unnatural and that is what has caused the undead curse because we have not been able to get to the age of dark which although maybe a little bit different <laughs> is probably the best way to go and I think that this might speak to what is kind of happening in general with, um, like, Hinduism has a very similar concept for how that there's cycles of ages and that there's the age of gods, then there's the age of, like, angels and demons, then there's the age of men, and then there's the age of, like, empty men or whatever, and then, in, a, in other words, men without religion, <coughs> humans. And then at that point, the kind of world starts over, cycle repeats, and then it becomes the Age of Gods again. And so we kind of have the same thing here, where there was the Age of Gods, and, and, and that it's starting to kind of become this world where people are not believing in the gods anymore. I mean, we're not at that point in this stage in the story, obviously. Many people believe in gods, and they trust the gods, or they trust some form of transcendence. 
But the age of man, the age of dark, the next natural age, probably signifies the age where humans are autonomous and not the gods. That humans work on their own and there is no such thing as power beyond self-awareness and self-strengthening um, power. Uh, may, much, it's, it's very similar to that of which Logan is looking at for, you know, with his souls, uh, with his um, sorceries and stuff, you know, which is mentioned. So, again, there's a whole bunch of stuff here, but, um, yeah, so he's asking, do we want to ring in the Age of Dark and, I think, maybe become the Dark Lord, or do we want to ignore him and go with, you know, Koth? I don't think it, it's not ambiguous to me. This is exactly what the true nature of this game should be. Uh, it's just like this is what I would want to have happen. Very well. I shall now guide you to Gwyn's prison. Be still and trust thine flesh to me. Will do. This is Gwyn's prison. Now, place the Lord Vessel upon the altar. So yeah, this is the area below Firelink Shrine, and uh, had we done, um, had we gone with Koth, uh, Frampt, then he would, his head would be sticking down from in the center here, and then Koth is from below on the left here. Um, so yeah, there's a bunch of chalices over there or something. Maybe Lord Vessels of some sort. Not really sure. But yeah, this is where the Lord Vessel is to be placed on what looks like a stump. But there's ash all over this stump. There's no way we were carrying that around. Here's another indication that this was all a plan. Uh, we read that those, um, when we touch that orange glow in the Duke's archives, it says sealed by the Lord's power. So I mean, it was it was sealed there on purpose. Wonder what all these runes say. All right, well, let's sit at the Lord Vessel, which is a big bonfire, and let's offer up the soul we have. Cool, it gets a little stronger. I only have three more souls or soul shards to go. What do you got to say, Koth? Very well. Once the vessel is filled with souls, the gate to Gwyn shall open. Seek Gravelord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, and the traitor Seath the Scaleless. Fill this vessel with their souls. Then the gate will open so that you may kill Gwyn. It's interesting that he said traitor. Are you ready? Then let us return to the Abyss. And trust thine flesh to me. He said the traitor seeth, as if, you know. 
I mean, he betrayed his own kind, but to call him a traitor would kind of indicate that you were aligned with those that he betrayed. It, uh, I mean, a little bit, it sounds like to me. Yeah, I think, can I take my ring off here? Yeah. Probably wasn't. Like, if I couldn't, that would have been bad. Um, alright, what do you gotta say, dude? Ah, if you wish, I shall grant the art of life drain, the legendary power of the Dark Lord. It can preserve your humanity while undead and cast off the shackles placed upon your brethren. So, yeah. Uh, I guess in order to buy stuff from him, you have to enter the covenant. I mean, I'm already in the forest covenant, so let's join it. Let's see if he's got any interesting items. Oh, and we get the dark hand right from that. Oh, awesome. That's the life drain that he was talking about. Uh, so as for covenant item, gets us cracked red eye orbs. I guess that's his store. We have to buy them, uh, but we already read these. Um, we can offer humanity to get for the covenant, but we're saving that for um, the fair lady. And let's just see if he has anything to say. Undead warrior, to speak now is premature. Okay. It begins with your retrieval of the Lord Vessel. They failed me, every last one of them. They were strong saw not the truth I am certain that you will prove different yes I will they they I wonder what he means by they the other primordial serpents in the final cutscene we see many 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 of them it's not just the two of them is it all the humans, or all the other, uh, I guess the other, like, undead that have come? Is it Gwyn and, and Seath and Nido and Isoleth? I don't know. Farewell. I love it. Alright, well, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to... We're going to go to Isolith next, actually. I was going to go to the catacombs, but I realized that we need something from Isolith before we, we should go to the catacombs. Um, so one other thing here that's kind of neat. Um, well, let's talk to, to Framped. Uh, he gets kind of mad at us. You sorry fool. You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. What I think is interesting about that, uh, and probably a bit too damning for Fram's case, is that, like, well, what if I change my mind? I mean, yeah, I, I talked to him, but it's like, what if... what? Do, so what, do you, what does Fram have to offer me to, like, I can switch sides. I mean, he just is like, forget you. I'm pretty much just gonna wait until <laughs> another undead comes, because you're not gonna be it, period. Yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, now if we talk to... We've offered a Lord Soul to the Lord Vessel. And I think this works if you go with Koth. I guess I haven't tried this yet, but... That you have agreed to link the fire. I thank you sincerely. Finally, the curse of the undead will be lifted, and I can die human. I am powerless, but I will do all that I can. Please, save us all. Please. Forget I yeah. I um, okay. So two things. One, uh, you can see that she, even uh, humans in this world, are lied to. I mean, in my opinion, 
Like, she's excited about me linking the fire. I'm not gonna link the fire. I'm gonna usher in the Age of Dark. But she's like, I can finally die human. What she doesn't realize is that that's what the Age of Dark is all about. But yeah, once you talk to her and, and you've given at least one soul, she completely fully kindles this bonfire. So now it goes to 20. So now this is a very good hub for us. We can have, always have 20 uh, available. Um, so yeah, that is uh, Goth. And uh, next we're going to go to the uh, Demon Ruins and Isolith and explore what's going on over there. Get the rest of the story of Isolith and, and her daughters and stuff. Uh, and Sigmire. Uh, see you next time. Bye.